Don's still in bad shape. Why don't you go over to the hospital in Little Italy and keep an eye on things? You think there's gonna be trouble? The police got the building under wraps, but they're not our guys, and I don't trust them. I'm just going to the hospital to see no, Pop. No, no. I want, I want to send some bodyguards with him, all right? Ah, uh, he'll be all right. Salotin knows he's a civilian. All right. Be careful, huh? Yes, sir. Send somebody with him anyway. Hi. Hi. God duty, huh? Yeah. You? I'm here to see Marty. Listen. Um, thanks. There's nothing I hate more than playing the damsel in distress, but I appreciate what you did. I guess I better go in. Uh, hey. Yeah? I was thinking, maybe we should, you know... No. No. We really shouldn't. But we will. Well, well. Is my kind of nurse. <laughs> so you decided to come look up my little brother after all? Wouldn't have missed it for the world. Thanks. He's starting to look like his old self again, right? What was that? Go check out what that noise was. Time to die, Don Corleone. Don Corleone! Come out! You can't hide forever! Get Frankie out of here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Who are you? Who are you? I'm Michael Corleone. Men are coming here tonight to kill my father. I'm here to help. Clemenza sent me. What happened to the police? The guards? I don't know, but I have an idea. I'm gonna get the nurse to move my father to another room. Hey, you better get your girl out of here. There's a way out through the basement. Go find Tom Hagen. Tell him what's going on. Hey, keep away from the front door. They may be out there already. You should wait here. I'll make sure the coast is clear. Okay, but be careful. Don't worry. They won't know what hit them. Are you ready for an ass kick? You blew out my kneecap! You're making a bitch! Go ahead. Ah! He's hit! 
fill him with sand, boys! I'll go get Tom. See if you can help Michael. Frankie, are you gonna be okay? Yes, I'll be fine. Go on. The Dawn needs you. Thanks for saving me. I'll go get Tom. I got all you guinea hoods locked up. What the hell are you doing here? What's the Turk paying you to set up my father, Captain? Take a hold of him. Stand him up. Stand him up straight. Oh. Told you not to get involved, didn't I? I'm attorney for the Corleone family. These men are private detectives hired to protect Vito Corleone. If you interfere, you'll have to appear before a judge in the morning to show cause. Kid, here's the hot ticket in town, so be there. Everyone who is anyone may drop in. Maybe you can make a few contacts. Sounds good. The party's over at Rosa's. You know Rosa? Runs a hot little operation. Great for parties, know what I mean? Michael? I heard McCluskey gave you a real shiner. McCluskey can go to hell. I'm just glad Pop's okay. I want to thank you for your help at the hospital. You did me a favor. I won't forget that. Thanks, Michael. I I'm just glad to help out. And speaking of favors, you should keep an eye open for people who may need your help. A Corleone or someone you do business with, everyone needs a favor from time to time. Just do the right thing and you'll earn their respect. Bunch of celebrities, are we? But well, we'll see about that. We're here, darling. I think I need to take you in for a interrogation. Son of a bitch. Something's gotta be done. I could really use a cigarette. You mess with the wrong. Think about it! Don't make any. Ah! Oh. 
He's weak as he looks. <laughs> Okay? Did he hurt you? Only my pride. Drunken fool's yours for the taking. Not this time, Consigliere. No more meetings, no more discussions, no more salazzo tricks. You give him one message. I want salazzo. If not, it's all out war. We go to the mattresses, all right? Father wouldn't want to hear this. This is business, not personal, Sonny. They shot my father. That's business? Your ass. Even the shooting of your father was business, not personal, Sonny. Well, the business will have to suffer, all right? Listen, Tom, do me a favor. There's no more advice on how to patch things up. Just, just help me try to win this thing, okay? Hey, son, we'd like you to become an associate to the Corleone family. We can use a man of your abilities representing us out on the streets. The point I want to stress to you, though, if you're going to be one of our associates, is the power of negotiation, okay? Even with the way things are now, especially in times like this, use your head. A lawyer with his briefcase can steal more than a hundred men with guns. Hey, kid, listen. Believe me, if you ever have a hundred guys with guns on your side, whatever you do, don't trade them in for some fucking lawyer. <laughs> it was Paulie Gatto who set up the dawn. You're gonna whack him. Today. We're gonna put his mind to ease first. Then I'll give you the signal. You'll know when it's time. I got you. I can do it. Good. You'll be making a better living after today. Here he is. Come on. Sit on the other side. That Sonny's running wild. He's thinking of going to the mattresses already. We gotta find a spot over on the west side. You know any good spots on the west side? Yeah. I think about it. Well, think about it while you're driving, will you? Pull over here. We own this restaurant. Hey, Paulie, you heard what my wife said. Run in and get me some cannoli. So what? I'm the grocery boy now? Paulie's going down today. But there's this thing we got to clean up first. A bar around the corner that the Dahlia's got. I need you to go upstairs and pick up the weapons and the dynamite I stashed up there.
Okay. But don't be shooting at me, all right? This is your last warning. Pay up or die! talking about? I was covering you. Yeah. I knew you was good for something, Paulie. You make my wife very happy. <laughs> Pull over, will you? I gotta take a leak. Don't know when to quit, do you?
Leave the gun. Take the cannoli. Christ. Waco! I asked you to bring us a car, not the entire fucking police force. They picked me up on the bridge. I couldn't shake Christ. Let's get out of here. Kid, you drive. <laughs> 